deal with the threat then of uh, Chudak coming in to... Just come sweeping in with that down smash. Down smash, exactly, yep. exactly. So that's my thoughts, whether that's how the playstyle works out. Who knows? Yep. But let's get into it and let's find out. All right, FD again. Pufat more than happy to go here, and I think so is Team Liquid. They want to give Chudat the space to slip slide around. And already we've seen now the split into, oh, they say some, something happened. And, oh, what a pickup! And if Hungrybox is going to get those rests off of the random down smashes, it is going to be a long set for Pufat. Yeah. Um, so Esfat already messing up a little bit of tech skill as we saw at the beginning. I don't think that as, uh, side view was intentional. Um, but that, that needs to be cleaned up ASAP. Game one is a fluke, but at the point where we're winning <laughs> finals, you can't be fluking those game ones anymore because against yeah. a mountain like this, ooh. There's a rest. And he even got it out of the jump. And, oh, did not get the legend time. He could have snatched that and gotten a two for one. Yeah, but that would have been smack for smack, too, on yeah. like both sides. Yeah, good coverage. Hungrybox had the ledge. Chudet had on stage. And, oh, he just accidentally fared him on. See, now I like, uh, as, excuse me, I like PBU taking the forefront of this as well. I think PBU being in the front line, while SVAT does, uh, I guess the G Money DJ. I kind of like yeah. uh, the Moth being in the front line here, letting SVAT rack up the damage. Then I am take the reins when needed, but I think s needs to stay in the back, in my opinion. Oh, still living. And can Pew... Uh, well, I was going to say, can Pew, Pew get a path forward for s to come back? And he did. Well done, as now s still holding on to that first stock. This is a very weird situation to be in, where Pew, Pew is the only person on their third stock already. Yeah. Oh, what a save by Hungry Box. But he does get the stock inevitably. I think um, Team Liquid are actually doing a great job of pushing away Esfat and k from each other. I think they're really struggling to kind of help each other out, and they are becoming Woo! the tennis Woo! players here. Oh my god, that was a sick combo right there to just deal a ton of damage on Esfat. And yet lives. He does live. Crazy. Well, ooh. Oh, I like that. Just from behind, just to like, let, me, let me just go between the legs right there for the down tilt. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm going to just slide it through. Woo. No, I love that. That was great. Um, no, Team Liquid are doing a great job of keeping them away from each other. And I think they need to kind of find their uh, their togetherness, I guess is the best way of putting it. Because Hungrybox Ooh. is capitalizing on the fact that he can easily edge guard s -Fat. Yeah. So, uh, again, two different sides of the stage. And I think that's scary because they're going to go for s -Fat. Yeah, you see, they, that's exactly what they did. Yeah. They both just came off the Angel platform and immediately drifted right to s -Fat. Yeah, Fox is like, so easy right. to edge guard. There's absolutely no reason they shouldn't be going for him. And I mean... Uh, Kato does have the, the mix-ups and all that kind of stuff, but Fox, ugh, he has the mix-ups, but it's not as easy to go back, I don't think. Oh, and Nana actually uh, interrupting Hungrybox's throw. Oh, that's a rest in an F smash, and Pew no Pew's still alive, though. Oh, but Hungrybox did get over there just in time. Yoink. Oh, oh yeah, he went for it. It was good DI by Hungrybox. I mean, I feel like you'd expect that DI from Hungry Box though, too. Yeah. So I feel like maybe mixing it up with something else or just kind of going back to get you would have been the move. Oh. Oh, does he use the stuff Oh, here? no, he's still living. But a wobble going on, and I like that Chu breaks it up early just to get the percent. Doesn't want to get caught from behind by, uh, by PPU. And wait, a ton of damage on Chu dead already. Oh, and I love how... Um, you there shocked him, just would not let him come down without at least a baby hit on, on there. All right, now if if red team can, oh, I don't know what SFAT's doing, but the accidental up air, he was going for SFAT, gets Chu, and now it's a two on one after what looked great for Team Liquid. Oh, and there's hey, the tennis. Can hey. they get the up air? Yes, they can! And another beautiful stock ending game right there by PewFat. And they just turned on the Jets at the end. Hey. Game one's a fluke. <laughs> okay, all right. Game one's a fluke. Game one, looking good for Pew Fat. That was a that was a hell of an ending. I would like to point out on the mentality side of it as well. Do you see the frustration on Chudat when they lost? Yeah. Oh, he like slumped in his shit. Look, you can kind of see it even now, like when they're talking to the teams, and you don't want to get uh, little things like that. Yeah, because the question. In your head, you right. know. Right. Is the question is is he upset with himself? Is he upset with Hungrybox? Or is he upset that Hungrybox is upset with him? <laughs> yeah. Right? You never you never know. But either way, you need to be not upset because if you let that get to you in yeah, winners, you get shook. finals, oh boy. Oh, because then you're going to be scared. Am I making a mistake? Is he making a mistake? 
Oh, we both making mistakes, uh, and then that's overriding your gameplay. Right. And, you know. Oh, and now Chu missing the wave land on another big head. Ah. Bah. I would put money on Shootout losing the stocks fastest in this game. Just on mentality alone. I, I, I don't know. Ooh. I'm scared. I can see PFAT taking this game, honestly. Yeah, they're looking pretty good already. Yeah. SFAT getting that shield out just in time to avoid the up smash by, uh, by Chu. But now it's back to what we are used to seeing in that Pew Pew still on the first stock while everybody else is playing with number two. Yeah. Oh, threatening Chu there as well. Trying to let him not come back to the stage, but Hungry Box got straight in there as well. Made that edge guard extra heavy. Oh, extra hard to get. I like that. He just let SFAT get over there in time. He's trying to clean up the kill on Chudat, and there you go. Yeah, and I mean, there's not much um, PPU you could have done anyway, because uh, the setups are, you know, on rest punish would have been the the roll around dental, which yeah. would not have killed. Right, he was only at 19%. Exactly, and his other option may have been like, you know, charge shield breaker or tip a forward smash, which still wouldn't have been right. worth it. So letting SFAT get it while taking, uh, you know, the other opponent's stock was so much more worth it. Yeah. Oh, oh it gets the rollout kill. But it's a good trade again as they get the kill on Hungry Box. He almost got him with the blue sword spike too. Oh. There you go, okay. Ragging up the damage on Hungry Box as well, just before Chu comes down. Chu on the forefront, not sure if I like that play necessarily. Yeah, he's taking a lot of shield damage. Yeah, don't know about all that. But sure. S fat there just fighting against shootout shield. Don't like how they've been, so, you know, kind of pushed into the corner though. That's not good for red team. Yep. They did a great job of just gaining control in the middle of the stage there, just pushing them as far as they could to the edge. Oh, and good pick up again by Hungrybox. He always, oh! always living though. Pew Down Pew, in. the king of the third jump, somehow kept it in the back pocket that whole time. They're gonna get rid of Nana. Did you see that shield stare Yeah, they off? both just like, I, I have no idea why Pew Pew didn't at least just try to grab him, right? Like, Chu had his back turned, yeah. so the only thing he could have maybe done was back air out of shield, which isn't exactly the fastest. The Chu, Pew Pew could have done something, but yeah, they're I, okay. I feel like there's definitely flips going on on both sides as well. I mean, they're not, Pew Pew aren't capitalizing as well as they usually do, as you would expect, but it's not bad gameplay by any means. It's just not as yep. on point oh, as well. Oh, and that's... Happens. So I don't know why he was going for lasers. He could have just up smashed. He's already a kill percent, but that's that's big. Missing jabber set rest is very uncharacteristic for Hungry Box. And he just got whipped out of there in a hurry with a double down smash. There you go, red team pushing the blue team the way they push back. Ooh, oh, good pick up. S bad stock. So that'll mean that means uh, K Toy also also down to his last stock. Uh, not looking good for. Pew Pew where he is now, especially against yep. Box in the corner. Oh, and flying in out of nowhere to get the rest, but he's living. Incredible DI by SFAT. Oh, he caught him with the burn too. That angle is amazing. Oh, and up smash. Not enough. Just barely up smash again. Not enough. A couple extra percent on both the puff and the climber would have been the stock, but now both of them are going to kill. Every single person on the stage is at death touch right now. Yep. Not a single person will live the, the next up smash, down smash, forward smash, whatever it may oh, be. Oh, dash attack? Oh, and he's going to go down there in the shine stall, making it possible for SFAT to come back. Gets the up air. And can Hungrybox do what we saw SFAT do in winter semis? Number one in the world against the side B up tilt for <laughs> the up smash. Who wins? Stay tuned. It's scary. Oh, oh. it's off the bounce. The alley oop from Pew Pew to S Fat slamming it home for a 2 0 lead. And, and again, game two's not a fluke. The frustration again on Hungrybox and Chudat's face. No. Oh, he's saying it something. Woo. Woo. <laughs> Katoy laughing. I like to see it. I like to see it. No, there's definitely frustration uh, on the blue team, but they've got to shake it off yeah. if they are going to win the set. They've been close. Both games were really close. Uh, yeah. Just a, a matter of. Red team being able to finish it up, and oh, can yeah, there's Hungry Box with the save. That's what you got to do. Well done. Okay, I love, I love how um, PB was trying to kind of zone out Hungry Box there as well, just kind of trying to down tilt him away. Ooh. Wow, losing Nana. stock already. Yeah, Nana snatched that ledge from Sfat. He was not expecting it. Oh, Hungry Box actually missed the back air there, which I wasn't expecting because that actually would have been the stock again but misses. 
Angry Box. Had PPU in the corner, but PPU able to come back. Just going in on Nana. Yeah, I was going to say, Chew uh, Dot there as well, just kind of fiending for that grab against PPU. Oh, oh no. He was going for Hungry Box, and, and PPU just was coming down after a, a little bit early of an up smash on a, on a kill attempt by Chu. If he had just pummeled one more time, it would have been the end of the stock. But Beautiful down tilt there as well by PPU. Oh, a thought of kill. He was so close to that uh, killing, though, but yep. great DI again by Hungry Box. S Fat Wait. looking for that back here, but gets grabbed. Wasn't actually aware that Chu was actually running yeah. up to him, but no reason. Uh, maybe a little too much trust in the teammate. Uh, maybe a little bit of just lacking in the, in the awareness, but something went wrong. Oh, oh how much almost getting him then. Yeah, S Fat just going all the way in, trying to avoid. They got to find a way to get this hungry box kill. And there it is. That should be it if Chu Dot doesn't interfere. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that'll be the start. Oh, that's a, that's a trade right there. Both PPU and Chudak getting killed. And again, Hungrybox coming out. Still on that first stock. Yep, still living. Psych. It's just like, uh, is he going to live? Yes, the answer. I just can't believe it. He's still out here kicking. But again, they actually got Chudak down to his two stocks, which will mean Hungrybox is his stock there. Yeah. They're going to start borrowing. So not terrible that they're going after Chudak as much as they are. Especially yeah. on Dreamland, where it's an easier feat to kill Chudat. I mean, 94 on the third stock. Can he? No, he's just not going to save. Let Interesting. Let that die. Oh, wow. Ooh. Great stuff by Chu to get the shield out just in time. He knew that Asphat was going to be in there the second he threw Pew Pew. Oh, oh, I like the jabs. Two jabs, but no F smash. There but there it is. it is. Round two, part two of the remix. He's got it. And. <sighs> It's four stocks to four, but in the most weird top heavy way possible. Yep. Oh, can they find this chew that kill? They're looking for it. Already a quick 50, quick 60. Oh, did he miss it? He missing his uh, down air out. Oh, there and that is. Oh, he could. I was going to say, if he set up something, he actually would have been able to kill Hungry Box. Great stuff by Chu to just keep Hungry Box alive. <gasps> and oh, man, the quadruple drill to get him to kill percent. Incredible stuff right there by. Uh, by Hungry Box. Which is crazy too, because that, that puts Moth in that weird tumble where he actually struggles. And I think it's either Sheik that gets out of that sooner or later. Like, Sheik struggles with that a lot, but Moth doesn't deal with it as well as well. So he got away with so many deers for no reason. Oh. All right, can they, I was gonna say, can they find a way to get the kill? No. If they can kill Chudai here, it's looking good for the red team. Still live in, and meanwhile, SFAT doing a great job putting a lot of percent on Hungry Box. Because right now, if they get this Chudak kill, Hungry Box is 71. There goes Chu, and all of a sudden, Chu got to take the stock, and Hungry Box is already at up smash and up air kill percent. Oh, wow, what a rest! And there's the quick wake up by Chu. He did exactly what he had to do. So, if Pew Pew can get this kill on Hungry Box, which Hungry Box is not going to let him go. He's gonna yeah. fly away. Uh, it's doable, but I don't think Hungry Box is gonna even slightly come close to, to Pew Pew. He's gonna stay away, let you that fight it out, try and get as much percent on, uh, on Pew Pew as he can, and then that's where Hungry Box is gonna capitalize if history would repeat itself, which yep. kind of looks that Ooh, way. Ooh, he just went for it. There's the wobble. 2 1. Uh, he, he tried to catch Hungry Box sleeping. Yeah. Just ran over there for the tipper, but Hungry Box able to get the shield out just in time. Yeah, there was absolutely no reason for Hungry Box wanting to go in there too. Because had he have killed Hungry Box, then he wouldn't have had the threat of having to deal with. Right. You know, I need to fight you, but Hungry Box is there. Had he have killed Hungry Box, which Hungry Box was flying away, didn't want any piece of that whatsoever. Yep. Then you're dealing with S Fat versus a unprotected Chew. Right. But that wasn't the case. All right, Pokemon Stadium is Pew Fat's counter pick. Game four, and again. More the same that we saw at the end of game three. Hungry Box is just a big chilling. Hanging out behind, refusing to engage. Even when they has Chew in there, they finally had to go in there because Chew was sandwiched between both members of Pew Fat. There you go, and Pew Pew going in after Nana. Oh, and Hungry Box even out here saving Nana. Yeah, that was, yeah. That was Interesting. nice, yeah. Interesting. Pew Pew really going after Chew though. Um, Probably trying to take those early stocks again, like we saw last game. But S Fat kind of getting stuck between fighting the two. Oh, that F Oh, 
Wow, what a huge turn of events. The accidental up smash on Pew Pew Yu turns into a rest out of shield. Yeah, that's not looking good. Both yeah, members was... of the red team down a stock. Up smash, yep. There we go. One stock to go, and you are beautifully even. But Hungerbox, big chilling on that side there on yep. the ledge, relaxing. Uh, and we'll have to relax until Chu starts getting uh, some problems. Oh, a lot of bodies flying around there. Uh, oh my gosh, s getting tossed around like a rag doll. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like PB is concentrating a lot on Chu, but I would like to see him concentrate a little bit on uh, Hungerbox too. Yeah. Because Hungerbox is fishing for s right now. He's gone straight every time, every time. Okay, he took that fair off the little lip. That was crazy. Just a little, little Pokemon jank for you. I love it. Oh. <laughs> Chew Dad said, nuh uh. Just the quick F tilt to get him away. Oh, and Hungry Box oh. getting real, real tricky. I like that. This is looking a little nasty. Beautiful up smash there uh, by S Bat. But we're still looking at Hungry Box's four stocks. Yep. He's just hanging out on the ledge. They were like, I guess if it worked in game three, might as well try it in game four, too. And it's working pretty nicely. People are playing to win out here. Okay. Oh, oh, and that is an incredible rest pickup. And what that's 100% worth it, yeah. Hungry Box is just out here this game. Yeah. Hungry Box starting to change his targets to, starting to go towards um, QBU because he's noticed the aggression on Chew. Chew down to two stocks. Slicing across the stage, Ooh. great down here. Almost didn't make it back. Oh, and that's odd. Look at both teams breaking up the throw combos potentially. And I like that up. I really like that up there by PPU just to, even if it did a little bit extra percent, the difference at 100 and 120 for Fox, not that big. But he was just able to keep him away from Hungry Box. And there goes Pew Pew Yu, even with the jump save. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no way. What? what? Great save. Wow. Was... Using the Firefox? That was next level. All right, so coffee break. Yep. Cup of noodle break. Do they go? Do they? Are they fishing for it? Yes. This is Ooh, what I like okay. to see. Yeah, they get the kill on Hungry Box in a lot of percent. Can they get the? Oh, a little bit too high with the up air. But that was a lot of percent on Chew. Again, if they get the Chew kill, they're gonna force him to take a Hungry Box stock, and Hungry Box it's pretty much at zero. That's a big take. Hungry Box there going in into the grass. Are Chew staying well away because they are aware of the plan. They understand Chu needs to keep this stock, so Chu is uh, kind of in the back lines. As Fat fishing for that falling up here on the shield. And they gotta Ooh. find this Chu kill. Well, there's the Nana gone. Oh, what? Psych? Excuse me, yeah, not no, quite no, enough. Still live it. Oh, and accidentally. There you go, but that's gonna do it for Pew Pew Yu, yep. That was not worth Oh, and that's a rest. All right, game five. Pew Pew dying there was. 100% not what they needed. Had he stayed alive just a little bit, it wouldn't have been an issue. The crowd is going wild. The crowd's <laughs> going wild for the game five and nothing else. Just game five here, melee doubles, winners finals. As Chudat now pumped up, he was amped up for the rest pickup by Hungry Box. So we're gonna see if they wanna go back to Pokemon or maybe if they wanna go to Yoshi's or... What do you think? I think maybe back to Pokemon, honestly. I think that's potential. I think so too. I think just because of the, the sort of familiarity and how often they decide to go back. Oh, they no, they are going to go to Yoshi's. They're going to try and pop that balloon a little earlier than usual. It's crazy to me. So despite, yeah, the benefits of what you've just said, I actually find a lot of doubles teams don't like Yoshi's because it gets a little hectic. Yeah. And I do feel like the games that we've had have been crazy oh. hectic. So That's why oh. they're like, nah. They said, never mind. Let's go back to Pokemon. I'm just coaching <laughs> it for the headset. Coach, you don't want to go to Yoshi's. It's you don't want to do this. Too much. Too much. <laughs> Oh, wow. And that's bad getting caught, but it's okay. Finding his way back on. There you go, and QB going straight for the ice climbers again. s assisting him Ooh. as well, going for the little slide. Oh, I thought that might have been a rest opportunity there, but uh, no, nothing happening. <laughs> PBU oh. going ape on Nana yeah, right now. he's like, let me just F-smash everybody. Just oh. zero discrimination. Everyone gets a little piece. Esfat trying to save, but there was no actual way for him to get down there to be able to, to figure it out without putting himself yep. under the threat of Hungrybox. Or falling up here, yep, gonna do it. 
again, Hungry Bucks always the one on four stocks. We need to get that out. Oh, and that was uh, the quick double down smash. And you see Hungry Box just trying to position himself to pick up these rest pickups off the down smash, which I love. I think it's such a huge pickup. Now Hungry Box again, just floating through the air. Shark and waiting for a hit confirmed. There you go. And that's beautiful too, because now um, Esfat has the ability to just kind of like drill, shine, blip, blip, all into two down right now. Yep. Hungry Box off the stage is not a great place for Hungry Box to be either. Oh, not quite enough. I like that they were looking for it. Oh, Nana keeping. Popo alive with the double jab, just now giving her life for the greater good. She's like, anything for you, honey. <laughs> I love you. So blue team not in a favorable spot right now. Uh, PPU taking the front line here as well, trying to keep Hungry Bucks away. Oh, and the double up smash. SVAC getting them both. And that puts them at a two-stock lead. Like, yeah. woo. And that was that was a well done. Just performance by Red Team to just pick that Hungry Box stock apart quickly. This is the pinnacle of doubles. Uh, one might say this is the finest doubles ever played. I'm not that. Say. I'm not that one, but someone might. This uh, is still great doubles. This is still great doubles. <laughs> Wait, who did I have to win this? Liquid. Uh, Team Liquid. Yeah. Let's go, Liquid. <laughs> <laughs> For the beer. Oh, and there's a nice, the double pickup by Hungry Box with the back air. Leans forward in his chair. Oh, all right, wow. they're just going to try and uh, get rid of Nana, but Nana's still living. We have a face-off. We have a stage down. One side of the stage versus the other, but that's not going to help. Someone needs to go in. There you go. Get rid of Nana. Oh, and Pew Pew gets the up air. Well done wow. by Esfat. No jump for at the Chudat right here either. Oh, but he gets him with both. Both of them get hit by the Squall Hammer, so he's not up smashed. And now Chudat's still alive. Esfat in a great place right now. Chew shield almost non-existent. Wow. And as long as they can fight Hungry Bucks oh right now, they've got a massive chance. I cannot believe that Pew Pew was able to come back. And the back air is going to do it. I like that they got the, that was so important for them to get the kill on Chew before they killed Hungry Box. Because now it's Hungry Box's last stock no matter what. Yep. Yeah. And he is just saying real safe to that ledge oh, right now. Oh, but the terrible DI by Esfat. Back. Oh. oh, I love that weak fair in the back air that Hungry Box is doing. And second time, third time's a charm. Yeah, you don't live those off stages of Space Animal against Jigglypuff. If the Jigglypuff is good enough, which we are talking the best in the world, this is actually looking scary. Oh, and that's it. He got caught by the down smash and Pute Fat. A little bit of a scare, but they do bring it home three to two. Ah. Uh. And that'll be a nice little soda for me. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Was but so that was a great close. set. That was a great set. I mean, bang on the underdog. That was that was close enough that I was yeah. not like that. Like, ooh. It wasn't a terrible bet. It wasn't a bad bet, no. It wasn't a bad bet. It was bet pretty at all. good. Alright, so we have our grand finals winner side participant. We know that Pew Fat is gonna be 